all praise to Yahweh Hashem, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, and we're the real Hebrews. According to the Bible, the blacks in America are the real Hebrews. That's what this teaching is about. That's what the gospel is about. Who the real Hebrews are, okay? And the so-called white folk, you're not true Israelis. You're not a true Israelite. That's what this gospel is about. Who the real Jews are, according to the Bible. Okay, that's what this is all about. If you want to know what this is about, why, why are we out here? While we out here teaching the Bible, the Holy Bible, the Heavenly Father's Word, is because according to His Word, the blacks in America are the real Jews. That's who the real Jews are. Okay, you black people, you're not Africans. All right, you're not Africans. You're not Muslims. You're not Christians. And another thing, the homosexual society, the law is going to bring destruction on America. For that, okay? When Barack Obama brought homosexuality to America and brought it by laws and made decrees by it, Henry Fox gonna destroy America for that same reason. He destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. He destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah for the same reason. Get, get, get Second Peter 2 and 6. For the same reason America has, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed, the Most High, Yahweh, is gonna destroy America for the same thing. Because now, America's worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. It's worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. We're going to prove it at the Bible. The Holy Bible, okay? The King James Version Bible, the Holy Bible, was written by the Most High Power in Yahweh Shai, okay? Read 2 Peter 2 and 6 and show them how Sodom and Gomorrah was an example of how America was going to be destroyed. Do you think the LGBT community is set right with the Heavenly Father? Do you think the homosexual society is set right? The homosexual agenda is set right with the Most High? The Heavenly Father hates it. He's against it. Read it, brother. Second Peter, chapter 2, verse 6. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. What is sodomy? Turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. Sodomy is one man takes another man and goes to another man's rear end. That's sodomy. And the Most High is against it. According to the Bible, the most size against sodomy. And also, how in the hell is the only father going to save a transgender? How in the hell is the most size going to save a transgender? How can the only father do that? Okay? The Lord don't make mistakes. You're not a, you're not a woman trapped in a man's body. Let me ask you a question. Okay? Wait, wait. You're not a woman trapped in a man's body. Okay? How did God make you? Okay? Eve when you read the Bible, the Heavenly Father tells you how right? he made Eve, okay? Was, was Eve made out you're of not a woman, ribs? You're not a woman trapped so in a man's God body. A man's what you are is an abomination, woman, according to the Bible. So We're going to show you. Read, brother. Person, and right? turning and the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. Sodomy. Sodomy is a man left the rear end of another man. The Lord, I got news for you. you need some I got news baby. for you, black folk. When you go up the rim of a woman, that's sodomy too. That's right. How about that? A lot of you like anal sex. That's sodomy too. When you read the Bible, the Lord is against sodomy. With a man or with a woman, the Lord is against it. You need some sodomy. And turn in the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes. And the Lord said he turns what? The cities, and we can pull up the Bible. You can run, but you can't hide. All you faggots out there, you can run, but you can't hide. The law is against it. And all you black men dealing with anal sex, the law is against it. With your wife or with your girlfriend, the law is against it too. Uh, yeah, I know you're going to run now, right? Uh, a lot of you running now, you don't like it. Okay, read, but tell me where you're at. Deuteronomy chapter 23 and verse 1. He that is wounded in the stones or hath cut his privy member off shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. You LGBT, you trannies, you damn trannies, all right? If you cut your private part off and then you're going to try to make it like a woman, the Lord said you shall not enter to the congregation. You got to run now, right? See, they got to run. When the truth come out, they run, all right? Because why? The Bible speaks. The most our word speaks. Okay, read on, brother. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow. The Lord condemned Sodom and Gomorrah. Don't you understand? He condemned it. Why did the Holy Father condemn Sodom and Gomorrah? For the same thing America is going to be condemned. The homosexual society and the homosexual agenda. The law is against it. But when your president is making laws that it's okay 
that men can be homosexuals and a woman can be a lesbian, that's an abomination to the Heavenly Father, and he's against it. Throw it up. Making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. Making what? Sodom and Gomorrah an example of those that should live, that, of those that are living ungodly. So what do you think the homosexual society is doing today? Living ungodly. The law is against it. He doesn't care about it. And he's not going to save them. What? The law going to save them now? Because the Lord made, when the Lord, Lord created Adam and Eve, and he made a male and male, made male and female. There was no mistakes. There was no mistakes when you read the Bible. The Most High don't make mistakes. Man makes mistakes, but the Most High don't make mistakes. Okay, going up. And deliver just life. Vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Yeah, see? The Lord delivered just Lot from Sodom and Gomorrah. What was, what was happening with Lot? He was what? Bound by the filthy conversation of the wicked. So, what's happening in America? Every time you turn in the news, you hear something about the LGB community and the homosexual agenda. And all they do is bombard you with what? What's going on in the LGB community? Homosexual society. And what their agenda is. The Lord's against that. He's not for that. Go ahead, huh? For that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vex his righteous soul. So don't you think that should, that should vex you? And you black man and woman, the homosexual agenda should vex you. Okay? It should vex your Holy Spirit. Because the Lord's against that. That's why the Lord delivered just Lot. And Lot was the righteous one amongst all of Sodom and Gomorrah. The Lord delivered just Lot and his family. And Lot's wife, she wanted to turn back and go back to that filthy, that filthiness, that filthy abomination. So she turned into a pillow, sir. And so Lot and his two daughters were the only ones to live it. That's what's going to happen in America. So America is going to be destroyed. And it be to wreck the abominations that are present in America. Homosexuality, like the top of the list. Okay, I don't worship at the top of the list too. Okay? Everything is an abomination here. The Lord hates America. Go ahead, up. Vex his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. And the Lord said, what? Sodom and Gomorrah, the homosexual society, vex Lot's soul from day to day. So the black man in America is vexed from day to day. Because of the righteous deeds of Lot, it vexes his soul. So the black man in America should be what? Should be vexed as hell in America. Should be vexed like crazy in America because of what? The abomination that exists here. Clear it up. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation. The Lord know how to deliver the godly out of temptations. So what are we teaching? Who are the real Jews are? Who are the Hebrew Israelites are? Who are the people of the Heavenly Father? Heavenly Father is not coming to save everybody. Heavenly Father does not love everybody. The Mosai, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai is coming to save the nation of Israel and the people on the sign. The people on the sign are the real chosen people of the Heavenly Father. The so-called Negroes, West Indian, Haitian, Puerto Ricans, the Mexicans, the North American Indians, right? the Seminole Indians, the Taino Indians, okay, the Arawak Indians, the Caribbean Indians. Those are the 12 lost tribes of the nation of Israel that you read about in, us in the Bible. Go to Genesis 12, go to Genesis 49th chapter, and you'll read about it. So the Heavenly Father is teaching you who you are. But all people, they don't want the truth. And that's why you fail in what you're doing here in America. Wake up to who you are. Read that, brother. Exodus 18, 22. Reading Exodus chapter 18 and verse 22. And let them judge the people at all seasons. And it shall be that every great matter they shall bring unto thee. But every small matter, they shall judge. All right. I wanted, uh, when the Lord said, uh, a woman that turned herself, uh, tried to act like a man. Um, and it, it, it's, I think it's Exodus 18 or Leviticus 18, one of them. Go ahead, up. And to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. Leviticus. Leviticus. But chiefly them that walk after the flesh and the lust of our cleanliness, and despise government. Right. So them that despise governments. And those that despise governments 
of the Most High, the Most High, the true government of the Bible is the Holy Bible. The true government of the Most High is the Bible. And whatever the structure and the order and the commandments and laws and statutes, that's the government of the Most High. So what? Anybody despise this word, the Most High is against it. Okay? That's why he says he's coming with destruction. Go ahead. Presumptuous are they. The Lord said they're presumptuous, meaning they have their own mind. They have their own mind and what they want to do. They don't want to do what is right. Okay, they don't want to do what is righteous. Go ahead. self will They are not afraid to speak evil of dignity. See? You're not afraid to speak evil of dignities. And you're not afraid, you're not afraid to speak evil against against the Lord's law, statutes, and commandments. You're not afraid. So the Lord's what? And the Lord said, I hate them that hate me. Do what the Bible says. Go ahead, up. Whereas angels, which are greater in power and might, bring not really accusations against them before the Most High. Okay, now read. You got it? Uh, got abominations. Yeah, there you go. That's what you want to yeah. <clears throat> Leviticus chapter 18 and verse 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind. The Lord says, thou shalt not lie with mankind. Listen up to this. As with womankind. So, homosexuality. What does that tell you when you just what he just read? Do you understand what he just wrote? Read? Huh? Read it again. <clears throat> Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. See? Those of you that are dealing with that, that's why you run. Thou shalt not deal with uh, mankind as with womankind. Go ahead, huh? <clears throat> It is an abomination. The Lord said what? It's an abomination. So the Lord is not dealing with the homosexual agenda. He's not dealing with it. But is your pastor going to read that at the Bible? No. Is the Roman Catholic Church going to read that to the Bible? No. Okay, is Pope Francis going to read that to you? No. Because why? They're dealing with that. They're the one pushing the homosexual agenda. So that's why the Heavenly Father is angry. And he's mad. Okay? This is why destruction is coming to America. Get Isaiah 24. Isaiah 24 and 1. This is why the Most High teaches it. He says, he says the earth is turned upside down. So what used to be men in the earth, now the men are turning into women. What used to be the Sabbath day is not the Sabbath day no more. Now you got Sunday the Sabbath. Everything is turned upside down. Go ahead, Doc. Isaiah 24 verse 1. Behold, the Most High maketh the earth empty and maketh it waste. The Most High maketh the earth empty and maketh it waste. Go ahead. And turneth it upside down. And turneth it upside down. So the earth is turned upside down. What is turned upside down? Okay, the laws and statutes and commandments of the Heavenly Father are turned upside down. Nobody's keeping the commandments. Everything is turned around. So when you're looking for judgment on the earth, there's no judgment. There's no truth, there's no mercy, there's nothing. Okay, go ahead. Up. And it's and scattereth abroad the inhabitants thereof. And scattereth abroad the inhabitants thereof. So the inhabitants are scattered abroad. Why? Why is the Lord scattering people? Because there's no truth or justice in the earth. America has done that. America got what they call a melting pot here. Everybody is supposed to be what? Together in a rainbow coalition. And the most sides against it. Go ahead, up. And it shall be as with the people, so with the priests. As with the people, so with the priests. Go ahead. As with the servant, so with his master. And as with the servant, so with his master. So, so every, the most I going to deal, he's going to make a clean sweep in America. He's going to judge everybody the same. And he's only going to deliver a remnant out of America, and that's it. Go ahead. As with the maid, so with the with our mistress. And with the, as with the maid, so with the mistress. So that means everybody is doing the same thing. So wickedness is uh, an abomination out here. As with the buyer, so with the seller. As with the buyer, so with the seller. Go ahead. As with the lender, so with the borrower. As with the lender, so with the borrower. So everything is happening here in America that you see, and America is not just. It's not just, it's going down. Okay? It's going down in the third world's world when you read the Bible. Go ahead, huh? As with the taker of usury, so with the giver of usury to him. Yeah, get Luke 12, 49. All right, as with the take care of usury, as with the give of usury upon him. All right, so what we're teaching here is who the 12 tribes are according to the Bible. The Israelites are the so-called Negroes, West Indian, Haitian, Puerto Ricans. All right, according to the Bible. 
This is what we're teaching. Everybody is not the chosen of the Most High. All nations got their religions, but all nations are not the chosen of the Heavenly Father. This is what you're going to find out. Even, even you East Indians. The East Indians, you got your religion, but you're not the chosen of the Most High. Okay? Now everybody has their idol gods and their religions, but they think they are. They're the chosen, but the Most High is not with it. Read that up. Luke chapter 12 and verse 49. I am come to send fire on earth, and what will I if it already be kindled? So, what is that saying? Sir, I want to ask a question. Sir, what does that mean? What does that mean to you? Read it one more time. Luke 12 and 49. I am come to send fire on earth, and what will I if it already be kindled? Yeah, what does that mean? I come to send fire on earth, and what will I if it already be kindled? So the Yahweh Shai is teaching that it's already kindled the fire that's going to come in this earth. It's already kindled. He's already going to bring it. Understand? Go ahead. Up. Verse 50. But I have a baptism to be baptized with. Moses says what? I have a baptism to be baptized with. Go on. And how am I straightened till it be accomplished? And the Moses says what? How am I straightened till it be accomplished? And what is the accomplishment of Yahweh Shai? The accomplishment is what? He got to come, destroy America, and destroy America off its what? Off its rulership. America will not rule this earth no more. In a very small, in a very little time, America's going down. Okay? Go ahead, up. Verse 51. Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth. No, suppose that I am come to give peace on earth. This is what Yahweh Shai is teaching us. He says, suppose, meaning what? That everybody thinks Yahweh Shai is coming to bring peace. But he said, suppose that I come to bring peace, because all the preachers are teaching that. But Yahweh Shai said, no, I'm not coming to bring peace. He's coming to do what? I tell you, nay, but rather division. The Lord is coming to bring division in this earth. Division. That's what you see here. Division. That's why everybody's against one another. Like the Bible says, neighbor shall rise up against neighbor. City against city. Town against town. That's what's happening here. Go ahead, up. Luke 12 and 52. For from henceforth, there shall be five in one house divided. Three against two, and two against three. So the Lord's going to come and bring division in this earth. And the division is going to do what? It's going to divide up until the time the Habashai bring what? The destruction. Then he's going to deliver the remnant of Israel. Who are the blacks who are the real Jews according to the Bible. That's right. According to the Bible, the black man in America are the real Jews. So what what are you so-called whites are saying? Alright, this is not a rainbow coalition up here. When you read the Bible, the Lord is not good at. Okay? Call Latin and get Amos three for the three and one and finish what you read. Go ahead. And the lips. Isaiah 24 verse 3 and the land shall be utterly empty and utterly spoiled. So that's America. America will be utterly empty and utterly spoiled. Okay, Coney Island is going to be empty. The Lord is coming with his destruction in his last days. It's going to come. Alright, look. The so-called white folk throughout the earth been ruling the earth for a long time. We're all the way back in the Caesars. Julius Caesar. Caligula Caesar. Nero Caesar, all the way up till today. And now the Lord is Lord said, now it's time for your destruction. That's what's coming. That's what's coming. I know you don't like it, but that's what's coming. Go ahead, Doc. For the Most High has spoken his word. The Most High has spoken the word. Okay, go ahead. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. And the earth mourneth and fadeth away. So the earth is going to fade away. Not the entire earth, but what? Parts of it. America would totally be destroyed, but the whole earth will exist forever. Because why the real Jews are going to rule it next in the Howard shot. All right. So when it means the earth fades away, meaning parts of it, but all of America will be gone. Go ahead, huh? The world languishes and fades away. Uh, what does it say? The the world languishes and fades away. Say the world languishes and fades away. That's talking about what this world. The, the most side that's about the whole world is talking about not the whole earth, but uh, the American society. Faded and languishing. 
and will go down and be destroyed. The whole, the whole earth will abide forever, according to the Bible. Go ahead, Doc. The haughty people of the earth. The what? The haughty people of the earth. And the haughty people of the earth shall what? Do language. And the Lord said they languish. So that's talking about here in America. The haughty people do languish. Go on. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. And the earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. And you see the inhabitants? So the people in the earth defile America. The people in America defile because of their abomination and their wicked and evil. They defile America. So that's why the Mosai got destroyed this place. Was that it? Go ahead. Because they have transgressed the laws. Because they have transgressed the commandments of the Mosai. Go on. Changed the ordinance. And the Lord said what? They changed the ordinances. All right, they changed the ordinances. The ordinances are the Bible, the Holy Bible. They changed that, go on. Broken the everlasting covenant. And broken the everlasting covenant. So that's the Holy Bible. So the covenants in the Bible have been broken. Go on. Therefore, have the curse devoured the earth. Okay, so the most of the curse is going to devour the whole earth. All right, this earth is going to be devoured, and especially in America, in certain parts of the earth. Europe is finished, okay? Britain is finished. The Queen is finished. Queen Elizabeth is finished, all right? That's what's coming. Why? Because they devoured the whole earth. They defiled it, okay? Go ahead, Doc. And they that dwell therein are desolate. And they that dwell therein are desolate. What are we teaching here, brother? That the real Jews, Puerto Ricans, West Indian Haitians are the Israelites, okay? They're the true Israelites, according to the Bible. What's your nationality? My, uh, my name. Huh? No, that's a religion. Oh, Uzbek. Huh? Uzbek. 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 Where is that? Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan. Oh, okay, I got you. Okay, so let me ask you this. Uzbekistan. When you read the Bible, I don't read Bible. You don't read the Bible? Why don't you read the Bible? Okay. I do right by God. You're you're a man of God. Let me ask you this. Is the, is the Heavenly Father, is he for the Muslim world or is he for the Israelite world? He's for the human, it's for everybody. Well, let me ask you this. Do you read the Quran? No. You don't read the Quran. So, you're, you're a Muslim, don't never read the Quran. I'm a bad Muslim. You're a bad Muslim. Oh, I see. Okay, I see. How about that? So, let me tell you this. According to the Quran, you don't read the Quran, but the Quran tells you who the real Jews are. And the Quran tells you the Jews are the blacks and uh, 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 the black people that you see throughout America and throughout the earth, and the ones who are of this descent, Israelite descent, they're the real Jews. Now you say you're a Muslim, but you don't care about that. I said I don't care. Okay. I said I don't practice it. You don't practice it, right? You don't. Yeah. Do you eat pork? Uh, no, because it's by it's just because. I don't eat it by choice, not by religion. <laughs> uh, I about that. So, so you, you're right. You're not a good Muslim then. Okay? Right. You're not opinion, a good Muslim. What, what, what would the Muslim leaders think about you? They would think, it's, you know, it's an opinion. Everybody's got it, man. It's like elbows. Uh, yeah. The, the Muslim leaders might have put you to death. But I'm just saying, because in all actuality, when you read the Bible, this, this book is not dealing with the Muslim world. Okay? It's only dealing with Israelites. Do you know, do you know, according, according to the Bible, do you know who Ishmael is? No. You don't know who Ishmael is? Uh, you don't know who the forefather of the uh, Arab world is? Like I said, huh? I don't practice it. Yeah, he's a Edomite, right? I, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Well, let me tell you this. The Muslim world, the Muslim world, let me tell you this. Uh, listen, the true, the true Muslims, the true Muslims are the Arabs. Okay. But they're the children of, of Ishmael when you read the Bible. Well, they're the true Muslims, all right? Boy. When, the, when, the, when the Greeks took over the earth, the Greeks, which is more than likely your forefather, you're really a Greco-Roman baby, taking on the religion of another nationality. Do you understand? You're taking on another nation's religion. So you're not really a Muslim. According to the Bible, you know who you really are? You're, you're Edomite. What is that? You're Esau. You're an Edomite, Edomite? according to the Bible. Yeah, you're Esau. Okay. <laughs> you're, you're Esau. Okay, according to the Bible. Whatever you say. And, and Esau. Well, yeah. You got You got to read it for yourself. And look. I hear you. But, I hear you. but even though your fathers brought you up as a Muslim, you're not really a Muslim. 
Uh, and let me show you about, give me uh, Hebrews 12, 16. Look, it tell you about your Esau the Edomite. And Esau, Esau was one of the sons of Isaac, okay? One of the sons of Isaac. And he came out red and hairy. Real red and hairy, okay? Showing you that he had no pigmentation. Showing you his, his other twin, because it was twins. And the other twin came out what? Dark skin. But Esau, who was your father, give me uh, Genesis uh, 36 and 1 first. Let's show you. Let's just show you who you really are because you think you're a Muslim. Because do you know Muhammad? Yes. You know Muhammad? Okay. I got news for you. Muhammad. He doesn't know me. Uh, ah. I got news for you. Ah. I know. But Muhammad brought forth that false religion too. He was one of the uh, uh, creators of the Muslim religion. And that religion went down throughout history as, as what? As the Arab religion. But it doesn't mean nothing, okay? Because all you so-called white folk that take on other people's nationality. Let me tell you something. Hold on. Genesis 36 verse 1. Now these are the generations of Esau, who is Edom. Esau took his wife of the daughters of Canaan. Right. These are the generation of Esau who is Edom. That's who you really are. Okay? Genesis 25 will show you that. Okay, show them that. Genesis 25. Alright? Esau who is Edom. The, the white race, the Caucasian race, the, uh, the Europeans, that's who they really are. They're not Americans. Okay? They're not Africans. They're not Europeans, you're not Uzbekistans. I don't disagree. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to show you something so you get some knowledge when you go. Go ahead, Al. Isaiah, I mean, Genesis 25, verse, verse 25. And the first came out red all over like in hairy garments. Yeah, that's you. That's, your, that's your, your forefather. The first came out red all over like a hairy garment. Okay, red. Meaning, what, Yaka? Your blood shows forth from your skin because you're red in color. Not white in color, okay? <laughs> Go ahead, read. And they called his name Esau. That's you. I mean, Esau means wasted away. I'm gonna go grab another You're not a Muslim. back over here, bro. Okay. Right. Well, and after that came his brother out. And, huh? and his hand took hold on Esau's hill. And his hand took hold of Esau's hill. Showing you what? That even Jacob in the womb knew, even Jacob in the womb knew that Esau was what shouldn't be ruling the earth, that he should be ruling. That he should be the firstborn, not Esau. Esau, brother, came out as a servant. Okay, it's going to tell you that. Start from the beginning again. Start from 25 again. Genesis 25, verse 25. And the first came out red, all over, like an hairy garment. So what we're teaching here, brother, is how Esau, the so-called white race, how they came out. The first came out of what? Out of Rebecca's womb, red and hairy. Go on. And they called his name Esau. See, they called his name Esau. Now you're going to find out what? What the name, the nationality of who Esau really is, who the white man really is. Go on. And after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold on Esau's heel. See? So even in the womb, Jacob was holding the heel of what? Esau, who is the what? The father of the so-called white race. All right? And you black men in America, you're the children of Jacob. You're Jacob. All right? And now you're in that position. Just like you were taking hold of the heel. All right? You're on the bottom now in America. And you grasp hold on the heel of Esau now. Esau's on the earth. But you black men got to wake up and find out who you really are. You're not Negroes. You're not, you're not West Indians. You're not Haitians. You're Israelites, according to the Bible. Go on. And his name was called Jacob. That's who you are. Now, brother, here go the father of the 12 tribes here, of Jacob. Jacob's name was turned to Israel, a black man. Jacob was a black man with woolly hair. And his, and his name was turned to Israel. Get a, where was that? Uh, Genesis 32, where his name was turned to Israel? I think it's Genesis 32. Get that for me. Go ahead, up. And Isaac was three score years old when she bared him. And the boys grew. And Esau was a cunning hunter. Right. Now, go up above that in 21. Go ahead. Genesis 25, verse 21. And Isaac entreated the Most High for his wife because she was barren. See? This is the story of Isaac and Rebekah. Okay? Isaac entreated the Most High for his wife, Rebekah, because she was barren. Go on. And the Most High was entreated of him. Go ahead. And Rebekah, his wife, conceived. 
and the children struggled together within her. How about that, brother? They were twins in Rebecca's womb. And these two children were fighting in the womb of Rebecca. Think about it, brother. These two nations were fighting in the womb. Rebecca knew something was wrong. Why are these children moving around so much in my womb, fighting amongst one another? Because they were two different nations. One was Jacob, which was a dark-skinned man, and one was Esau over here, which is a so-called white-skinned man, but red and hairy, according to the Bible. Read on. And she said, if it to be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Most High said unto her, two nations are in thy womb. And what the Most High said, brother? Two nations are in the womb. See? Two, they didn't say two babies. They didn't say two different people. It said two nations. So the Most High was bringing forth the nation of Israel, Jacob, and the nation of Esau. Out of Rebecca. Go ahead. And two manner of people. See that, brother? It said two manner. What's the word manner mean? Two different type of people. Can the Most High bring two races out of one race? Yes, he can. So that means you're the progenitor of all races. Because Isaac and Rebecca was a black man and black woman. You brought forth, our people brought forth the white race, the so-called white race. They came out of you. So really, you should be ruling this earth. But because of your sins against the Heavenly Father, you fell for breaking the law of statute of commandments of the Most High. So that's why you're in this condition. Go ahead, up. And shall two men of people shall be separated from thy bowels, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people. Say, and the Most High said, what? One people shall be stronger than the other people. So the Most High is showing you what? Two different manner of people shall be separated from the bowels. Two different nations shall be separated. Go ahead. And the elder shall serve the younger. And the elder shall serve the younger. The Most High is saying the firstborn was going to be what? A slave to the what? To the one who's going to be born next. To the youngest. Go ahead. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled. And when what? Rebecca's days to be delivered were fulfilled. What happened? Behold, there were twins in her womb. And so the Most High is saying what? There were twins in her womb. So the Most High brought forth twins, but they were two different nationalities of people. Go on. And the first came out red all over like a hairy goat. So now the Most High is saying what? The first came out red all over like a hairy garment. So the Most High did what? He brought Esau out like a hairy garment. Okay, hair all over his body like a hairy garment. Go on. And they called his name Esau. And they called his name Esau. Go on. And after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold on Esau's heel. And his hand took hold of Esau's heel. So the Most High is showing you now, he was red and hairy, and uh, Jacob took hold of Esau's heel. So this is us showing you now, give me uh, Romans 9, 13. Romans 9, 13, but read this, where the Most High says, Jacob's name was going to be turned to Israel. Go ahead. Genesis chapter 32 and verse 28. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince hast thou power with God. Right. So the Most High is showing us Jacob's name is now turned to Israel. And who is Israel? The father of the 12 tribes. So that's what we're teaching out here that the so called Negro West Indian Haitian Puerto Ricans are what? The 12 tribes of the nation of Israel that you read about in the Bible. Okay? Good, Romans 9, 13. Romans chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. As it is written in the Bible, Jacob have I loved. See, read the Bible. The Most High said, Jacob have I loved. Go on. But Esau have I hated. But he said, Esau have I hated. Does the Most High hate? Well, you just read it in the Bible. Esau have I hated. Go on, read that one more time. As it is written. As it is written in the Holy Bible. Okay. Go on. Jacob have I loved. He said he loved Jacob. And Jacob is the patriarch, the father of the 12 tribes of Israel. These 12, these 12 tribes were one-time sons. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, all right? Issachar, all right? Gad, Ephraim, they were all sons of Jacob. So Jacob the patriarch must have said, Jacob have I loved. Go on. But Esau have I hated. But what did the Most High say? Esau have I hated. Does the Most High hate, brother? 
Yeah, he does. It's in the Bible. Esau have I hated. Go on. What shall we say then? Is there a righteousness with the Most High? So what shall we say then? Is there a righteousness with the Most High? God forbid. The Most High forbid. See, the Most High forbid it. That there is unrighteousness with, with him. For what? For he saith unto, saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. The Most High is saying he going to have mercy on whom he want to have mercy on. Okay? Not with a church to say, with the Most High, I got to have mercy on everybody. Everybody will not have mercy when you read the Bible. Okay, go on up. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. And the Most High says, I will have compassion on whom I want to have compassion. That's in Romans 9 chapter. Okay, not, not the whole world. Go on. So then, it is not of him that willeth. It is not of him that willeth. Go on. Nor of him that runneth. Nor of him that runneth. How about that? Go on. But of the Most High that showeth mercy. See, the Most High showeth mercy. 